hello everyone today we are going to work on this uh, drunk camera effect so as you can see here some deformation is happening in the screen so this is what we are going to work on today i will be implementing this effect as a post process material So this is what you get at the end of this project. Right, so this is uh, default open world map in Unreal Engine 5. So here, uh, first I'm going to add a post process volume because I'm going to implement this effect as a post process material so here uh, i'll make this post process volume i'll enable in finite extent so it will be applied the post process settings that i define here will be applied everywhere not just inside this box okay and then i need to add these post process materials so i still haven't created the post process massive material i need so let me create one m p p from okay so right so this is going to be uh, post process material so material domain should be set to post process like this and then here let's get in texture so not seen color we have to use post process input zero and if I connect it we will get exactly what is already rendered into the scene so i'll set this one as a set reference and add to this post process materials so actually we don't really see any difference here because we haven't done anything we all all we do is just get the same exact thing that we are already going to render into the screen and render it without doing any changes so here we have this node screen position from this we can access the screen position basically and if i uh, add some offset to this not one maybe like point one you can see we are moving the image so if I apply it you can see if I make it 0 it's like this if I make it 1 it is offset it has some offset so this is the property we are going to use here so actually to make it look like a drunk camera um, it's it doesn't make sense to have a uniform offset across the screen so let's get a texture sample uh, right so here i am going to find add some noise material and i have enabled this show engine content so that's why i see some additional textures here even though i don't have much in my project see this is all i have so but this engine content is available to me because i have enabled show engine content so yeah here i can access some noise textures so this one seems cool and if I so here 
this is a 2d coordinate so i do a component mask to get only rng and add it here so now you see we do get some effect but this is too strong so what i can do is let's multiply this by some value 0.1 great but it is always offsetting to the top left so that's a problem but if I subtract Point five from this now it's not always going to the top left okay all right now we do get some effects see awesome so the next thing is well this uh, maybe we should scale this down so text coordinate multiply this with some value so if I use a value larger than one this is what happens so this waves become smaller if I use a something some value in smaller than one I get larger waves so like this see that's better maybe we should increase this now a bit okay now if i play the game so if i don't move the camera i don't see much happening so that's not good so even if i'm not moving the camera i need to see some movement so here let's add time so now you see it's moving even if I'm not moving the camera but this is too fast so what I can do is multiply this with some variable let's promote this to parameter warp speed so this camera is somewhat this is somewhat like a warping effect um, maybe not warping I don't know I don't have a good name so Right. This looks good. Oh, nice. okay so what's next oh another issue i notice okay i'm not uh, another issue i notice is no sometimes it looks odd closer to the edges but yeah it seems fine this is what I meant see so here you can see this sort of like clamping so that's because when we try to offset 
in the edge this there is nothing else after that point in the texture so it's simply reusing the last value like a clamped texture so to prevent that what we can do is um, from the texture coordinates we can break our two components so this happens here actually i don't really notice it above so here we can do a one minus and add another multiplier so in the edge we wouldn't have any kind of a offset so that would be prevented let's see now in the corners it looks almost no deformation Right. so one more thing is maybe it would be better if I slow down this character a bit so we can achieve that mm -hmm. let me open the character blueprint here do we have a begin play now Let's add the begin play and add set plus turn time dilation. Let's try something like 0.3. Also, we can turn down the actual speed here as well. Let's see how it works. Great. So, yeah, now I'm going to stop this episode right here. And thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.